Jetty back at it again and yo <laughs> your boy has landed in cap haitian oh cap you know that's right haiti's second city which is technically haiti's first city but go figure in terms of population <laughs> it is the second uh, in terms of significance probably right now in these days it's probably the first and we are doing something that i'm oh man i whoo, i'm gonna do a little dance i'm gonna do a turn around i am so happy to have a chance to show you and really put on a pedestal every person who's involved in this sort of project here and it's and it's, it's right there behind me that's sitting on 24 acres and it's gonna have not just one not just two but 40 plus homes in it right and oh and the, and the amenities are gonna be coming up <laughs> we might as well just give you a sneak peek it's gonna have um, a market it's gonna have a gym it's gonna have a pool it's gonna have a pharmacy it's gonna have a beauty salon and it's gonna have a recreational park with every sport you can imagine and uh and for those lazy beautiful fall days in haiti that are cool and nice and breezy you're gonna have a nice little pond a double pond set up for folks to enjoy <laughs> with their entire family i mean this is truly a development project that unfortunately doesn't happen enough in Haiti. And when the folks reached out to me, got in slid into the DMs, I said, Chris, we got a project, you know, we need to highlight it, we need to show, especially right now with the year that we just had, where honestly, the hope has been drawn out of so many of us. We need to see, there's folks still working. We need to see projects like this, where folks, despite everything, they're still putting money out, they're still Skill sets, for example, the engineers here, the architects here, Haitian. There's still folks with the abilities still here, and I'm telling you, there's still hope here that exists. So we're gonna check out, we're gonna go inside these units, we're gonna check out what's in it, and then we're gonna talk to the exceptional visionary, Yvonne Sematin, who's gonna accompany us. We're gonna break down the conversation with him and really understand <laughs> just how much of a revolutionary you gotta be, and maybe even a little crazy, to go ahead and decide no matter what, Haiti deserves this. Anyways, let's go, let's go inside, and let's see what we can see. First off, we are in the building, guys, and first off, pay attention to these details, man. I solid bar frame, beautifully well colored, Come on in, come on in. The door though, I gotta say something about the door. Well varnished, an excellent finish. <laughs> Go on in. Lots of space, lots of space. So this area functions as the living room slash dining room area. You have your fridge right here. That fridge is right here, right? And this is top notch stuff, right? Top notch, you have a whole bunch of different things, brand new, brand spanking new. Right? And the way I can imagine this spot being, of course, this being the kitchen, you have your stove, right? And of course, here you have a secondary table right here that would be your armoire that had your, holds your plates and hold all the other dinnerware, right? And then right next to it, probably right here, is where I have a little dinette. Have a little dinette right here, right? And this whole area here, uh, where, I'm look, where I'm looking at right now, I have a TV. This room technically has two formal bedrooms, right? And this room here can function as uh, either like a genuine guest room, a room that, you know, storage, whatever it may be. 
also, it's, it, it can be a room for the help, right? Because in AD, you usually have someone around who can help with the kids, help with cooking, and this room can also function as that as well. So this here uh, would be a master bedroom. And as you can see, lots of space to get, get that king size, big windows. You have this additional closet space, right? That not so function just as a general storage area for your bedroom, which towels, things of that sort. And then you have a bathroom. So what's really great is, of course, the, you this balcony, balcony area here on the second floor that you're gonna have, have, a, some, have your seats here and just enjoy maybe early afternoon like we are here right now, or late evening. It is absolutely phenomenal. And we are here with Immaculate, <laughs> Yvonne Sigmatin. Yvonne, let's walk, let's talk, and let's understand what what, what exactly are we experiencing, right? What what's going on? What, what, what is this? So a way a way I group of Haitian, and a few other people who are not from Haiti, yeah. who decided, you know, like crazy people, because every people <laughs> are telling us how much we are crazy mm -hmm. to start doing that. Mm -hmm. So we have what we call about six, uh, six uh, kawo, okay. uh, which is about what you say, yeah, 24, 24 acres, acres yeah. or mm -hmm. a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And that we decided to make this development. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to make a small part of Haiti look like mm -hmm. different, mm -hmm. especially in the north of mm -hmm. the country. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a property development which will have about you know 100 houses 100 houses like wow. we say you will have clinic and pharmacy <laughs> yeah, mini yeah. market pool mm -hmm. you know mini bar we'll have green area we'll have sporting area mm -hmm. we'll also have a studio where people can you know yeah can make them look mm -hmm. like nice yeah, like yeah. you and you know like us <laughs> <laughs> and a gym so, I think a gym too. also so we are making it as pleasant as possible mm -hmm. because you know it, we, it's time to stop talking about you know bad things that mm -hmm. are happening in Haiti. Mm -hmm. We need to take the courage yep. to, to do ahead. something different. Mm -hmm. And it will require time, but we are now at five units, mm -hmm. which are about to be completed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah. I see two back here right behind exactly. us there. And, yeah, gonna, and there's more we're going to walk to and take a look at. Exactly. And earthquake resistant also, because we, we don't... You know, we don't complain about mm -hmm. standard mm -hmm. and we don't compromise mm -hmm. about standard. Mm -hmm. So we always take care of what we are doing, how we are doing, mm -hmm. so that it is as clean as possible, as safe as possible, and to make employment also possible mm -hmm. within the community. Mm -hmm. And we try to hire locally. Exactly, locally, and create as much job as possible. Mm -hmm. And also, for example, the block machines mm -hmm. and many things mm -hmm. we are using now mm -hmm. are going to be left in the community. Mm -hmm. And also, we are building capacity. We are partnering you with technical. Do the goats come with everything. Does, does it come with the deal? Yeah, yeah does it come with the deal. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy if the goat if the goat comes. <laughs> De definitely, it depends on when you come. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So we are quite happy about it, yeah. even though it is a very tough environment. Yeah. You know, some of the time the people are always thinking, oh, you know. Uh, Haiti is not safe. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of problem. There is rubbish. There is everything. But mm -hmm. you know, development like this are more important than anything. Yeah. Because if we don't take the courage to invest in, you know, in our yeah. country, how we want it to be safer? Yeah. Yeah. There is no job. Mm -hmm. How you want people not to be, you know, mm -hmm. crazy mm -hmm. on the streets? Mm -hmm. So we need to take our courage, and this is why we are building this project. Fantastic. And it is all with our money with a collaboration with other people, right. partnership with people like you mm -hmm. who believe in Haiti mm -hmm. and who believe that we can do something different. So what this is, as a development project, folks are investing in it, right? So before you start on a home project, folks contact you. And then, so how does that process work exactly? 
Yeah, definitely. Mm. So we want to have a first conversation. Yeah, like we right. say in Haiti, mm -hmm. you know, uh, we don't sell a cat in a bag. Mm -hmm. No, no, pas avant chat no sac. Uh -huh. So we want you to come yeah. and visit us. If you yeah. cannot come, you send at least you send someone yeah. to visit. Mm -hmm. And then we discuss about it because we are about principles. Yeah. We want to have a safe community mm -hmm. where security is on the top. Mm -hmm. And also, for example, light. We have solar yep. lamps, lamps like this so that even during the night, so they can always, you know, light in the area. And then we have security. Mm -hmm. We want you to discuss about all of those mm -hmm. things. And also amenities. And also, you know, if we are going to clean the area, everything. So the monthly fee you have to pay, all of these H principles. Yep. So that you don't also have a community which is left mm -hmm. on itself no and no yeah. maintenance, yeah. no electricity, no water. We want to have a clean, a safe area. Mm -hmm. So you need to be involved. You need to discuss about security. Mm -hmm. You need to discuss about everything, how you're going to contribute also to the community, mm -hmm. to the project, mm -hmm. so that you are part of it. Mm -hmm. And then we, you can make a first installment. Mm -hmm. You can make the installment only on the land, mm -hmm. or you can make it on both the land and a house. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And also, if someone would like to invest and have a return on investment, this is also, we are also open to that. Mm -hmm. uh, we are not only doing this project, mm -hmm. we have also the project yeah. we own mm -hmm. behind us. Yeah. So we are going to come on with them. And uh, perhaps in the next show, mm -hmm. we're going to show the next project, yeah. which will be also bigger than that. Okay. And also, we have some of the small projects mm -hmm. uh, which we don't show yeah, yeah. for the moment, but yeah. this is this is okay. Are, so you sound like you're a guy with a lot of vision, a lot of ambition. Who are you? Tell the folks, what's your background? Not, I say I'm native. <laughs> Did you leave, come, go somewhere? What's your background? Tell us. <laughs> I'm 100% Haitian. Okay. I was born, you know, in uh, Wobia, a very small countryside area in Cape Haitian, mm -hmm. in the north of Haiti. And I have studied here from primary school to secondary school, plus technical school, electromechanics. Plus, I have a license in uh, humanitarian logistics in France. Mm -hmm. Then I have a master of disaster management and also a diploma in operation management from a uh, university of Copenhagen. So this is a so, guy, when uh, it comes, <laughs> he studied to prevent bad things from happening. And he knows what to happen when something <laughs> bad happens. That's the kind of guy I want as my PDG for a project like this. Yeah, and also, you know, this is, I have a wealth of experience, yes. mainly from Central African Republic, yeah. Liberia, Sierra Leone, you traveled the world Rwanda, and out of Africa. A yeah. lot, a lot. And also I've studied in France, in yeah. Denmark, and plus some of the technical studies I've done also in Switzerland and others. So, because but yet you always come back, it sounds like. Always it's like, come it's like back. All these different places you've gone to, you've come back. Uh, my idea is to bring back what I got from the country. Yeah. So, because I was raised there mm -hmm. and I know what will be good for my country. All my experience, I want to implement them here. Mm -hmm. So that we make the greatest project mm -hmm. ever in the country. Now, the, the design, and we're coming up to a house right now, the design, it's very modern. I like that. And, and, and we looked inside, they're very spacious. I mean, what's, what's the sort of philosophy? What sort of architectural style? You know, why did you go to the more traditional Haitian homes? Why this direction? Yeah, uh, definitely, so we wanted to do something different. Yeah. And we have a team which is very, very, you know, international. Uh, international. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And w uh, discussing everything, it takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm. And for example, this project took more than five years before mm -hmm. we started. Okay. And this is how we come with some great plans like this, like you can see mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. It is different from everything you've used to see, mm -hmm. but this is a, a great project from a big team mm -hmm. uh, of everyone, where everyone is involved, mm -hmm. architect, engineer, electrician, masons. We discussed from the beginning mm -hmm. to the end of the project before mm -hmm. we can put it up like this. Mm -hmm. And this is why, you know, we, we don't work like, you know, a stand alone guy. We work like a team, a real team who discuss the future of a project and the future of Haiti because we understand that everyone in a team should be involved in order to get the greatest the greatest value we can provide uh, to anyone who would like to participate in this project and and so we're standing right in front of one here and uh, so I don't Yvonne this you know the it sounds nice ambitions nice but the challenges what are the, some of the challenges in terms of doing something like this right you know first first the first challenge I gotta ask 
bank financing. Why, why, where are the banks? Where are the Haitian <laughs> banks? This, right? This is this is very tough. You know, uh, when it comes to financing, yeah. this is a very very tough mm -hmm. job because most of the time the rate, the interest rate is mm -hmm. so, high so high that it's very tough to move on. Mm -hmm. For example, you have more than 21 percent, 22 percent a year to say if you can collaborate on a project. Imagine that you have to pay on five to ten yeah. years yeah. and it's quite tough. Yeah. Uh, so this is why, for example, we gather what we get together mm -hmm. in a team and say how much we can put, how much we can put and how much we can put. And this is where also we are encouraging other people to invest. They can get the greatest return on investment and also avoid the, all the high interest rate mm -hmm. with, which you are facing here. Mm -hmm. And the other challenge is also sometimes uh, people do not really understand the value of standard. Building something like yeah. this takes a lot of effort because yeah. they not really understand standard. Yeah. Yeah. Someone may think that he can get a house like mm -hmm. this for 50 or 60,000 mm -hmm. dollars, mm -hmm. which is not okay because if you want to make real standard, which is earthquake, earthquake resistant, proof, resistant, hurricane proof, because it's a hurricane, hurricane proof, too, yeah. you know, and respect every standard in the wall, land use planning, mm -hmm. and also every standard in terms of structure, mm -hmm. in terms of electricity, plumbing, you know, to have something which, which is built to last, mm -hmm. it is very tough to make the people understand the difference mm -hmm. between this one and something that they can build with any kind of professional who is not really respecting standard mm -hmm. or who is not specialized in the field of construction, architecture and structural uh, management. Mm -hmm. You know, this is another challenge. The other thing is, you know, the country, most of the people, the, many people, they think about bad things and when you present them the project, what they say, ah, you know, Haiti is a very bad country, there will be trouble. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there, this is not a project for them, this is a project for people who really believe, believe in the country and who want to do something. Because, you know, here we are in a community where we are happy and the people are happy with us. We provide any kind of assistance we want and we, we are able to, uh, to give them. And then they bring also their expertise, their knowledge, their hand hand power in order to make this project happen and also they are happy to get job. A another challenge may be for example this sky rocketing of price. Mm -hmm. You know the Construction market prices. Yeah right. exactly the price inflation. can increase yeah. the inflation it can go very high very quickly. Mm -hmm. And this is why sometimes when you start construction yeah. if you don't finish it if you don't complete right away, the project right away it costs you even more exactly yeah. Yeah. and those are the biggest challenges. Mm -hmm. Otherwise so we are happy and uh, we know challenges are there to be met mm -hmm. and this is why we are here mm -hmm. and this is why also you are here and we are happy that you know some people take Haitian challenges like theirs mm -hmm. you know and we will be happy to complete this project and make the people happy and to know that we can meet challenges in Haiti. Mm -hmm. What are some of the type of folks who have so far reached out and invested. Are they, uh, are they in America? Are they in Canada? Everywhere. 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 Everywhere in the world. So we have people from Central African Republic, like mm -hmm. a good friend. Yeah. I have some other from Zimbabwe. I have someone from New York. New York. We have people from friends. From Lord, everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. We have business businessmen here. Yeah. We, you know, all sort of folks yeah. who really believe in the good project. Yeah. So all kinds. Listen, I, I just being out here and seeing it for myself. One time, it's one thing to, to kind of hear about the project, but seeing it and seeing the amount of work and effort that's put behind this. Yvonne, I gotta come facilito. I have to congratulate you for the thank you. Of effort and work. Thank you, and thank you for coming. As we are on this. so happy. Now, now, one of the big things I'm sure. I can't leave without asking. What are the prices? That's the first comment is gonna be. What are the yeah. price? What's the price range? Well, there's something right. like this. Okay. How much you think it could cost? You know what? <laughs> you know what? Honestly, in America, something like this, the smallest price I would pay for something like this would be two hundred fifty thousand. Two hundred fifty thousand. Uh -huh. uh, we can build that for uh -huh. one hundred fifty. One hundred fifty thousand bucks. And the thing is, the land is yours. The, the land, land is yours, right? No, the land is not yours, but but the land will be yours. Okay. But you have. 25,000 much for the land. Okay. Then we have, we'll, you will have much space 
you know, for parking area, for green area, mm -hmm. for everything. Mm -hmm. so let us say in total, mm -hmm. land and everything is included. Okay. 175,000. Okay, so let me understand. Together. 150 for the home. Yeah, another 25, 25 for the for land. The land. Yeah. So 175 together, and you have this. That, that, what I'm seeing here, which is probably what? Yeah. Okay. It's how, even, how, how much, no, this is 500 square meters. Okay, 500 square meters. Okay, yeah, 500 So that's about meters. 500 square meters is what you get here yeah. uh, on this plot of land. And the house is, is about 140 for 145 square, square meters. meters. Yeah, you guys can do the conversion on uh, Google for square feet, yeah. but, but yeah. it's a lot of space in these units. And again, the price is so affordable, honestly, because I'm telling you, even though you may think, oh, I can do this by myself, lot Haitians, oh, I can, I can go get land by myself. And, but I tell you what, the headache, the headache yeah. because you don't know if the land is actually free and clear they guarantee it they have a lawyers and a notaries on site that help with the transition process and then the day you're part of a community a community of other homes of other people who are who are going to be look out for you look for your back and and we have pdg yvonne who's disaster relief disaster prep who's always going to be here you know managing and, and doing a lot of different things for you, I think. I think and we'll have an administration to help them manage yeah. everything. You yeah. know, yeah. everything will be taken care of. You know, water, electricity, yeah. so that you always have technician who can support you if you have any kind of need. Mm -hmm. And you will have water flowing, and you see also the electrical poles. Mm -hmm. You know, and we'll have a big generator mm -hmm. also, so yeah. that we have backup, backup. power. Yeah. Even if you have a solar system in your house, mm -hmm. we can always have a backup power. Contact, contact info. Con Yvonne, what's the contact info? Yeah, so once and once for all. So you guys don't DM me. It's Yvonne's <laughs> is telling you what it is right now. Go, what is it? Yvonne? So definitely you can contact us at uh, Rudy Set EG K Patient. Uh -huh. So Yvonne Service Immobilier. So you can also contact us on plus 509 407 8676. We're gonna put you that know. information below. Don't worry. You okay, can see it. so okay. you can see it. So Chris is going. Also, we have contact in Boston, yeah. in Florida. We're gonna put all of those information we're so we're that you can that also contact us locally, or you can contact yeah. us at info at ysihc.com. I love it. I love so, it. So, but anyway, so we are expecting you guys to come and to participate in the greatest project possible, and we are open to you to your investment you know, to our participation and to make something great in Haiti. Listen, we are guys, waiting for you. Listen guys, I don't know about you, but I'm saving my pennies up. I don't, I don't, I don't need too many pennies, because again, these are so affordable, so I can participate in it. So guys, if you want to be a neighbor of C. Genty, <laughs> of Chris Genty, of C. Genty, because I'm I I'm going to have something here. You you contact Yvonne, and, and I guess I'll see you soon, neighbor. <laughs> see you guys. Yvonne. Whitley Nelson, c'est ingénieur civil et ingénieur superviseur pour Yvon Service Immobilier. Nous travaillons avec plusieurs autres ingénieurs civils qui gagnent plus que 8 à 10 ans d'expérience dans le domaine de construction. Nous travaillons avec des topographes qui sont très expérimentés, des architectes et d'autres ingénieurs designers. Nous-mêmes, nous chita, nous faisons une sorte de consortium, nous prenons tout conseil, tout bagaille net nous englobons pour nous donner meilleurs résultats, pour nous donner ça que nous avons pour nous montrer tout le monde de sa village la produit. Tout ça, le résultat ça, défini en fonction de l'équipe là, en fonction de normes équipe là, chita soli. And that's our time here at Village Nounouche. It's been an incredible, <laughs> inspirational feeling to be here, to see the work that's being done. And despite, really, it feels like I'm in the eye of the storm here in terms of, this, well, the, the residue of the storm, because <laughs> the storm is gone, whatever. When you're in here, listen, there's nothing but the potentiality of where Haiti is going. And I can say without a fact, it's one of the greatest things of being a part of CGNT Media, the fact that we go all across the entire country and we find change makers that are laser focused on projects that are going to provide jobs, employment, housing, health care, and everything Haiti's going to need when finally all the pieces come together and we have the country that works for all Haitians and that all Haitians deserve. 
Guys, this is what we're about here at CGNT Media. We're about this sort of content, highlighting these sort of players. If you like what we got going on here, yo, hit that subscribe button. Definitely share this video. We have a whole other set of content that exists too. Do go check it out. I mean, Cap Haitian here, we have an entire series we recently dropped where we went and saw the entire, really, province, entire department, really, of different players and, and folks doing incredible work. Uh, in different spaces from waste to farming uh, and just business owners really finding ways to drive change forward in their specific industries. If you like particularly this project, the Villager News project, and we shared the info, we're going to share it on that Zoom pan out, but also we just know that I've met Yvonne's. This is a project that I, even myself, I stand behind. I'm incredibly proud to know that uh, it's it's being run by uh, a group of folks of outstanding folks who are i'm sure once you watch this you're going to desire to say man man this is exactly what i've been looking for this isn't exactly what i've been hoping to find a place where i can potentially get some land i could build something out I'm, I'm 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 not left to my own devices when it comes to the wild wild west of land acquisition in haiti this is one of those rare opportunities that I can clearly stand behind and say, you know what, if you're looking for something it's like in real estate, like you've been telling me in, in your DMs, <laughs> be reaching out to me. Listen, this is one, one such project that I can certainly recommend eyes closed because it is going to get to the finish line. And we'll be back. We'll be back in two, three years. We're going to show you the progress. We're going to show you how you guys are done. We're going to show you how many more homes are here. We're going to maybe even grab one of you guys who are watching who decided to invest in this <laughs> to come on camera and share their experience. This is what we do here. I love you. We'll be back at it again. We're back at it again. Peace.